Red Snapper and Parchment. This red snapper recipe is moist with a delicate balance of sweet citrus and briny olive. Hi, I'm Leanne. The parchment paper makes for an elegant presentation too. Let's get started. I've preheated the oven to 400 and placed two baking sheets inside and now I'm going to make the topping for the red snapper. So I'll put in some chopped up green olives, a red pepper, some freshly chopped oregano. That'll just be fragrant when it cooks. And some zest of a mandarin orange. And then I've taken some of these mandarins and just segmented them and then sliced them in half. We'll add those in. Some freshly squeezed lemon juice of two lemons. And then half the green onions that I've chopped up. And I'll give that a mix. So I'll just set this aside and lay out my parchment paper. So I'll put some of my green onion down on the parchment first. And then I will lay my beautiful snapper fillets right on top. And then hit them with a little salt and pepper. And now I'll add our colorful topping. And now I'll just top this with a few little pats of butter. And now I'll begin to fold my parchment over. So I'll fold it over and cover the fish. And then I'll start folding the edges in, slightly overlapping each fold and making kind of a half circle so it looks like a calzone. I just took my baking sheets out of the oven and while they're still hot, I'll add my little packets to the top of them. And now I'll pop them back in the oven for about 15 minutes. These are out of the oven, don't they look great? I really love this presentation at the table when you slice open the top and peel it back and the steam comes out and it's cooked to perfection. And that is an amazing dinner in a snap. 